Ooh, this is amazing. Look at these icons. Look at this. Ooh. What's up and welcome to Tech Select. In today's video, we are looking into the wonderful, very beautiful Pia OS. Now, Pia OS among the Linux distros there does stand out from the crowd by being a very, very beautiful distribution. But that is because of one thing. It looks so much like the Mac OS operating system. So over here at the uh, website, let's just go to the Google and search for PROS. Now, PROS.xyz. <laughs> anyway, opening the website is all nice, beautiful, you know. I like the way they, they, they really try to make everything just look very interestingly nice. What is this? We care about your privacy, use basic ads, yep, 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 yep. this is the cookie notification. So, yes, I'll, I'll, I'll eat a cookie. Eat a cookie. <laughs> right. So we have the main POS site, just black, how to install. Okay, so you show me how to install, where is what to install. Versions, okay, let's see what's in versions. So POS apparently has different other versions. So we have the Monterey, which I think is the same as the new released Mac OS Monterey. There is a fixer. <laughs> <laughs> this is a knockoff of a big sir from Apple Mac and then there's Catalina I don't think this Catalina here is uh, worth my time right now we are after this Monterey guy it's just been uh, you know released so I want, really want to have a look at this here okay uh, is that a release that 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 download Monterey I like this here it, it, it does look like a Mac anyways that's what brought us here uh so yeah we're downloading that now after downloading we get to install and see what we have uh to play with uh you have to wait for a couple of seconds yep yep yeah, yeah, 2, 2. 2.4 gb that's going to take a while so much 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 later and we're back having downloaded now let's do some installations uh okay already <laughs> it has this peer logo like a peer that was beaten up they even had to make sure they bite it off this, this is just really just really making it look like apple because apple has that beaten off thing so installing i'm not going to show the installation process it's basically the same since it's based off ubuntu linux so it's something really easy to install let's just go straight to the login okay so when you get a login screen over here it has a nice I like the purple, you know, fade out. Just nice. This guy is telling you, you know, welcome to the good life. Uh, over here, there is uh, sleep, restart, shut down, and other. When you go to other, that brings you like another user account. So, yeah, that's not really what I hear. So, I already have my account. I'm going to log in. And here we go. Again, that peer appears. I think on Apple, this is where the Apple logo would be. But here we have a peer. So it's peer OS. Uh, with a nice uh, rotary wheel there just loading okay and we are in this is just interesting i like the way everything looks very familiar if you have used a mac before this here does look like you know an, a carbon copy of mac it just looks stunning i like the way everything is you know well laid out just exactly like it would be on a mac um oh okay let's just click over here to this appear uh, at the top here where the mac logo normally is and then go to <laughs> it actually does bring out um similar menus because all I remember is the last time I used the Mac, when you go and click uh, the Mac logo, the drop down menu, first thing that comes is about this Mac. Now on this it says about this peering <laughs> let's just <laughs> Let's just click there and see. Oh, and it actually does display for you um, your system hardware, just the same as what Mac would do. You know, the display, storage, well, what, what's the support here? support uh let's just see get support on this uh, on discord software has no warranty i know it's made with help of our peer project and then system uh definitely just just has this uh over here it has this wobbly uh screen thing enabled i not never really been a fan of the wobbly screens they just give me a headache but well that is that uh looking down here at the dock the dock is actually very responsive it has you know 
when you uh, glaze the mouse over it the icons are all just bumping up and it just looks amazing i do like that about it they managed to knock that off let's see what the names here are launchpad epiphany <laughs> So where well, the safari is called Epiphany. <laughs> okay. Uh Gwen View, I think is one on Mac. That's where you have like your gallery. Cheese would be your uh first time. <laughs> first time equivalent. This one they're calling it cheese. Same icon, different name. <laughs> uh calendar, k address book. Well, all these here just do look very familiar i like the layout of this i think i'm going to be kind of using this one here for a while it's just something interesting about it okay so right click on the desktop configure desktop and wallpaper okay i'd like to see that i'd really like to see that okay so it brings us just three different wallpapers at the moment i think that's all that comes installed uh, on here but i see down here there's add image you can add your custom image and also there's get plugins so you can definitely go download those online so if you really really want to add more uh pictures to it it just does come very easy but already i have no problem with what is provided it's just stunning well done peer os team well done on this one this thing is really really stunning honey the calendar does have this you know the translucent look it just looks beautiful i like that even here on the notifications you see it has a translucent panel over there and it's just nice such weirdly does work let me just search here um let's search just search the word peer there you go so the search is exactly the way it you know it comes on 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 a mark just brings you the search results that i like this i really like this i like the fact that they've gone and incorporated almost all the functionality <laughs> that you find on mac and make sure it does work on their knockoff version it's just interesting so pos i think i'm kind of liking this here our battery and brightness just where you'd find it volume over there also on this trans uh, translucent background just something really beautiful let's check out launchpad launchpad on the mark normally when you tap on it, it brings it big screen uh, with all the uh, software that is in there let's just click it on here and see uh, what that does and indeed there we go um all the apps are here just says uh, go to the right all the apps are well laid out translucent screen as usual it seems it seems to be uh the, the the current theme going on uh it does look just stunning i like how everything is where it's supposed to be basically if you have ever used a mac you're definitely gonna be very comfortable using pros although the apps are what will throw you of course these ones are definitely linux only uh now pros is best off ubuntu linux so let's try out something on uh on the console which would be terminal let's just say sudo apt get uh update let's see if that works yep ubuntu commands are working on here so just like i said it is best off ubuntu operating system so everything that runs off ubuntu should be able to work here so the apps the you know the commands uh, especially those that do run background terminal everything will get working on here uh, let's go over to the ps store which would be equivalent of app store some logo kind of thing uh let's see app store app store ps store in this case where is the ps store catalog is being downloaded well it's the first time i'm opening it so it has got to you know cross check with everything online and let's just see how that goes right 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 aha uh -huh. so it does open up i like the fact that everything is well organized audio video communication and news productivity games add-ons everything is just well laid out so that you know um you can easily figure out what exactly it is you're looking for by just going to that a particular area which is just something amazing amazing that is something very nice well let's click over here to games and see what comes you know standard on uh peer os okay uh most of these are nothing really worth looking at most of these just uh, small games nothing appetizing let's go to graphics and photography no, yeah graphics and photography let's see what we get over here mm, graphics and photography we have blender which other one can i recognize here evice you know screen recording over there it does uh, come with quite a good number of those let's go to add-ons add-ons here you know just uh, multi streamer so you know everything is where it is supposed uh, to be uh there should be a search yes the search is over here on the upper left corner where you can just search the application you're looking for and it will definitely uh, drop it down and bring it for you uh, right there that is the app store i like the resemblance to the main one it, just well organized i like it let's check out um what app is this here it does look like what would be itunes on on a mac 
but on here it is called rhythm box yeah so the rhythm box app is here open which is our peer os itunes very very big resemblance to the itunes layout as you can see this on the left here is you know the, the play queue the music podcast last fm is also um, put in here and then now this here is a part that just made me laugh down here at the bottom uh where you can do uh the new playlist this is exactly like it is on itunes so i just find this really intriguing the volume is where we're used to it being it's just something really interesting um i do like it i do really like this so much it just it's very very interesting but anyways i still do love everything about this uh, os here i'm going to be running uh this linux distro i think for quite a while because i need to get acquainted with it update everything and see how can it behave like get to see how does it run after a really long time when everything is updated does it get more beautiful does it you know uh, hold out when i decide to do some serious video editing on it can it hold out and actually be one of my daily drivers um let me see if i can actually switch over to make this my daily driver uh let's just shut down <laughs> it's really been awesome here looking through uh peer os with you uh, right here on the tech select channel i really this is a really good uh distro right there if you'd like to check out more distros with me and also uh to keep updated on what new videos do keep dropping on this channel go right now hit the subscription button and that notification bell so that you are alerted each time a new video drops right here on this channel my name is linus thank you so much for being part of us and i shall see you in the next video cheers